All right, here's the last house. This is the biggest one. We can get it for 382 minus 15 is 367. So you walk in, you've got a bathroom right here. Matt, downstairs master. This is vinyl, but it's some kind of luxury vinyl, so it looks like wood and all that good stuff. I haven't been upstairs yet, but there's the upstairs. Garage. Hello. <laughs> and says hello. There's a lint or coat closet. This one does have kind of the double door like office and a more formal dining room. The uh, washer and dryer room is right there. So there's one thing I know you'll probably be upset about. So this is, it says an open concept, but it's not necessarily facing the room that you would like. But it's still big, big old uh, granite, nice uh, finishes. Uh, looks like uh, just single oven, but not bolted ceilings, but nine, are these nine foot ceilings? Or 10 foot? Nine four? Nine foot four inches. And we would have room here to put that. I'm gonna send you pictures of that pool. But then there's some things that I don't like. So it's a, the bedroom is, we won't have that vaulted ceiling that we like, or that one that I liked in the previous room. This does not have a bath. But has that super shower that see, people seem to like. There's the uh, vanities and a walk-in. That Red Wing one was probably the best one that I liked. But this has is a little bit more and a little more space, so you have to decide if which things you prefer. So we'll go upstairs. So the nice thing, once again, downstairs master, and you could make that. You know, I know how you want to do different areas. So let's go upstairs. Loft. So that's nice. Bathroom. And there's a tub. Bedroom. Oh, another big old bedroom. One, two, three, so four bedrooms. Jack and Jill in this one. So that's about it. Very, all these options are good for the price ranges. So, bye.